Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I decided to do another unboxing of a Marion Hilton box and this is a big one. So this could take a few minutes but um, as you come in please hit the thumbs up, share this out, and subscribe. Thank you so much. So when I got this off the back porch um, the other day this thing's heavy. There it is in all its glory. It's a very large box. I don't even really know what it weighs, but I'm sure that it has substantial weight to it. And uh, we're going to do another unboxing because... It's just, I just have to. I just wanted to do it, and I'll give it a few more minutes and give people a chance to come in. I always go live doing these boxes because it's my favorite way to share with my subscribers. I like the interaction in the chat, so that's why I do it. I m would much rather have company while doing this than anything else, so that's why I do it that way. You know, uh, as your subscribers, I believe everyone needs to feel important. And hey, Gigi, welcome in, hun. As a subscriber, you know, we want to, uh, you know, I want to let people know how much I appreciate them subscribing. And this is just one of the little things I do to uh, give back to my subscribers because I think everybody likes to see a good box, right, Gigi? So, yes, I am wearing red today. I think I've kind of got the, been dubbed the lady in red, so I wanted to wear red. Couldn't find what I really wanted to wear, but I wore this today. Kind of an older blouse. I had it back in the closet, and I just decided to bring it out. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of tailored, and it's got a zipper in it kind of has that old-timey vibe to it. Thank you. It's got that. I love blouses with that detail to them. It just, it's just one of, it's just me, you know, that's what I like. And uh, a lot of my things I get from consignment shops because number one, their prices are better. Number two, you find really unique items that you you don't see everywhere that's why i like to shop them so well it's got some lines in it just a real uh something different i hope everyone's having a good day the sun is shining here and warmer weather is on the way but we have to get through this other stuff you know march is almost gone thank goodness uh, but yes the sun's nice and warm and it's uh can't wait for those flip-flops to come out. But really, right now, I'm up here. Hey, Jessica, welcome in. With pants on. And I'm, you can tell I'm from Kentucky because I'm having shoes on right now. That's a, and I'm getting ready to sneeze. Excuse me. Ugh. I have allergies so bad. All righty then. But, uh. I'm trying to, uh, I didn't take allergy medicine day, and that's what I get. I, I was vacuuming my steps today upstairs, and man, what a job. <laughs> You're talking about all those flights up, but here's another bracelet that I got from Marion. I call it my Marion Monroe bracelet, not Marilyn Monroe, because Marion is the one I got it from. But isn't that gorgeous? Very well made, beautiful bracelet. You ought to see that out in the sun. They can see you coming. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And we're going to give it a few more minutes and we're going to get started because we have lots of goodies to go through. I remember some of them, some of them I don't. It might be a surprise for me, but if I buy something, I really like it. And it speaks to me, so therefore I just buy it. 
Much to my husband's chagrin, I guarantee you, I can spend some money now, no joke. But uh, it's real good to see everybody. You're fine, Jessica. Thank you for coming in and sharing me out. Jessica is a big supporter of channels, which is wonderful. And she's such a sweet lady and glad to have you in. Hey, Deb, welcome in. You know, that's what we need to do. We need to support one another. And, you know, it means a lot to somebody, um, you know, or it does to me. I decided I got up this morning and started vacuuming, went up these steps with that vacuum. I've got one of those sharks. It's a real good one. And I detached all that. I have a couple of chihuahuas and one has white fur. And I saw a lot of that fur in the vacuum. He will not let you brush him. He will eat you up if you try it. But I have a furbinator. And he, if he even sees it, he takes off. So the only way I can really get a lot of that fur off is to uh, give him a bath. And... Uh, He's really sweet, but boy, he's got that chihuahua mentality. Then I have a little female. She's real, uh, she's really sweet. Uh, usually the female of the breed is the most intelligent, and she's really smart. Uh, she's She behaves pretty well, and uh, I picked her out. I went for one and ended up with two because I saw the little male first. And he was so different. He's white and had that mask on. And I thought, oh, let that be a girl because that's what I wanted. So I picked out Ginger. And then my husband said, well, take the other one. I started to run over and take his temperature. I said, you mean we're getting two dogs? But yeah, we ended up with two. And sometimes it's... Um, better when you have two of them together because one gets in too much trouble by itself. But anyway, let's see how far we're in. We're seven minutes and 17 seconds in. So this box is for Marion Hilton. I would put it back on the table, but it weighs a ton. And I know there's some goodies in there. So we're just going to get started and crack this box. Hey, love. Welcome in, hon. We're getting ready to crack one of those Marion boxes, and we all know what those are like. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here because this box is heavy. I don't even know what it weighs. It was heavy. So naturally, we show no one's address. That's against the rules. No one wants their private information put out there. I don't blame them. We don't need to do that. So this little utility knife sharp. So, Marion always throws little gifts in there, which very, very nice. Of course, you know, Marion does do storage units. And the first thing right off the bat is this beautiful bag. Look at that. It's got that uh, pinkish fuchsia color and light pink going on. I think she knows how much I like pink and I like red as well. But isn't that beautiful? Next time I need a gift bag, I'll have one. Very pretty. You know, gift bags can be expensive depending upon where they come from. Uh, this is from the company Spritz. S-P-R-I-T-Z. Very nice. Very spring-like and ready to put things into. So there's that. I don't remember getting these, but I think these are a hoot. She probably stuck them in my bag. <laughs> Look at these. Adult fishnet pantyhose. I must say I've never wore a pair in my life. But you never know. You know, person go out for Halloween. But yeah, they're, they look like they're thigh high to me. Mercy. One size fits most. Adult accessory ages 14 plus. But yeah, that was in there and she probably put that in there. That would be good for a Halloween costume. And uh, 
it says to keep away from open flame where applicable, remove all tags and plastic loops, keep plastic bags away from children. But there's that. She put that in there as a surprise. Thank you, Marion. And this, now I know why it's so heavy. All righty then. As I told you guys, I got a lot of craft stuff. And it just so happens the other day, Marion had this uh, portfolio thing that had dividers in it. And I had just purchased the uh, all the uh, card stock. So that's going to come in handy. But check this out. This is all Tupperware. Every bit of it. Small containers. I haven't seen some of these like in forever. You have your... I've got two of these. They're probably salt and pepper shakers. Probably vintage. It's been a, a few minutes since I have seen these. That's for sure. Tupperware. Let me see if I can show it to you. Let me open it up. So you see your Tupperware brand right there on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to kind of reflect that and there's two of them i haven't seen these in years and i'm like and then of course you know you've got your lid on it in case you knock it over it won't go all over the counter and those are just really cute what i would do i would get some stickers and put like an s or something or p on these here's another little small container it, how cute is that and I'm going to pop the lid on it. This is like, you could probably put powdered sugar in this or even brown sugar and you could sprinkle it on your, of course this other side does open, and sprinkle it on your French toast or pancakes or whatever the case might be. All these are in excellent condition, by the way. So, I don't remember what this is. It looks like this. It's got a little clip down on it. It is also a Tupperware product. Let me see if I can... I'm trying to... It's hard to show that and get that. But you can faintly see it. I'm not for sure what this is. If anybody out there watches out there right now knows what this is let me know it clicks shut it has the little hangy thing here it's green also in excellent conditions a lot of times this this could have been a demonstrator's thing where you had the smaller items to Tupperware parties were the first sell and best stuff while having gatherings parties with friends and yes Yes, love, it really was. because. Hey, Nightmare. It really was because uh, Tupperware is a good product. So if anybody can figure this bad boy out, let me know what that is. And how often do you find Tupperware in this good of condition? You know, Tupperware, when people bought Tupperware, they used it. And here's another one of those little things. And... There that is on the bottom, your Tupperware little emblem right there. Thank you for coming in, Nightmare. I appreciate that. Then we have two more, two identical, a total of four of these, but they have the little shaker tops on them where you could put your powdered sugar in there or sprinkles or something like that and just ch -ch -ch. then to keep it fresh, you close it. Put it back on the shelf and you're ready for another round. So, there's that one. But I don't know what this is, but I could probably Google it. But it is Tupperware and it, it's all this stuff's in excellent shape. I know a lot of people purchase the Tupperware glasses and kids would chew on the top of them. It would look all kind of ragged, but not these are in good shape. You could even, if you wanted to, you could even store beads in those. 
that would be an ideal and there I have four of them so that would be a good storage container for beads and say like if you had seed beads ouch you could shake them out through that and only get a certain amount without getting the whole thing excellent shape you guys I'm very impressed with this as a matter of fact, I think I bought some Tupperware and it's downstairs somewhere. Okay. Now, this is right up my alley. This is an entire bag of doilies. Yes, I crochet, but I really like the older ones, especially because this one has got different colors in it. And we have a rosette in the middle. And it's just beautiful. And you know, something like this takes a lot of work. You know, and, and if you're when you're dealing with the finer string and stuff, which I'm making another uh, doily like I made for It's Me Angie, but the, the thread is finer. This is in wonderful shape. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, Jessica, thank you for coming in. Next up, we have another one. Now, this is an example of one, something that someone actually attached that on there, that the uh, that's fabric right there. And that looks like that real fine uh, string that I'm working with at the moment. So there's that. And next up, we have another beauty. This is pretty. Oh, my. This is like a little teardrop shape. So, so beautiful. Look at that. Someone, I would say the ones with the fabric like this one that someone's grandmother or great-grandmother probably made those. But... And here's one that's in different shades of purple. It's a smaller one. But these make such a nice thing to go along with vintage decor and everything. They're really pretty. This one has, this one probably had all that yarn, all, excuse me, all that string that was variegated throughout the uh, thread. Very beautiful. Boy, those stitches are, I mean, they're made well, but they are certainly tied in there. My mother-in-law crocheted, and I have a lot of her books and everything. And here's an older piece here. Lord, you guys, I got a bag, about a, a humongous bag. Now, I'll probably take this, and I'll soak it in some OxyClean or something. I believe the it's probably just from age, I would say. And I'll soak that right up. And there, I think she put more in there. Well, that's our Marion. She's very generous. Okay, then we have this here. Let me put it against this right here. So kind of like a, it's your pineapple design. Very pretty. I know in the beginning I had problems with that pineapple years ago and I just kind of decided that, you know, hey, I'm going to do it. I know I can do it. You know, you know what the old saying is, you only fail if you quit. And I'm stubborn and I kept going. <laughs> look at this. I bet you, I want you to look at that. Look at how they put that together. And how beautiful. Like I said, there are some spots, but I will take care of that. It's very easily remedied. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous. So what this person did, they started out making this. They detached their thread, and then they added it on in another spot, and then continued on with this and then once this is really lovely I really love this it's really really neat different I've not seen one like this before and there's another one oh my goodness 
You guys, I think this one was was uh, machine done. I can tell. Well, maybe not. Let me look for some signs. This one could have very well been done by a machine. But look how gorgeous that is. How beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Just put it against that red so it'll pop. Isn't that beautiful? There's that one. I think this one was machine done. I can kind of tell. It's, here's what I'm talking about. See that right there? That that right there is not really that is not really a stitch through there. So that's why I know it was done by a machine because you can just tell, you know, those stitches could not be produced by doing any crochet. Uh, stitch. I know. I, I could tell. And, oh my goodness, you guys, we got pink. You know how crazy I am about pink. Pink or a blush color, and it's a runner. How beautiful is that? And my house was built in 1926, so this stuff's right up my alley. I can have a ball decorating this one here, this one was made by hand, and what tiny little stitches, and there was two together, and um, let me separate them real quick, let me do it very carefully, I don't want to destroy this beautiful work, get this one here <clears throat> but thank you guys so much for coming in it makes it so much more fun to have guests like i said um this one was actually produced by hand i can tell and look at how tiny those stitches are look at the the length of those little stitches someone probably used about a size 12 metal hook because that has the smallest little um, little hoop to it. Ooh, look at this one. How beautiful. Someone liked green really well, but look at the um, detail on that. Look at that right there. That is gorgeous. But yeah, you can get, you can produce a tiny thing, a stitch like that if you use a certain hook size. I think she put more in here than what I, or I was asleep when I was bidding. No, I'm kidding. Here's another. So there's that. that beautiful. Put it on the red. Because I think she, she gave me a bonus. I really do because I don't remember that having that many. But and here's another one. Marion always tells you she's going to put a surprise in there, and boy, she does. Then here's this one. This one is was handmade for sure. It was attached to this piece of fabric. So what the person had to do before starting this, they had to put holes. And even, even spacing amount in that uh, fabric, then they had to attach their thread and work from there. But yeah, they had to put little holes because that, in it, that there was where the uh, needle would have passed through. And yeah, that's how they formed all that. They had to put holes in the fabric. And another one, I think I'm going to get some OxyClean and run some water in the washer and soak these. Here's another one. And you know, these would come out as beautiful as the day they, you know, they came out. But OxyClean is a good whitening substance, or that's what I think. Let me check this one out. Now, this one's pretty as well. This one is not crocheted. It does have a really beautiful border on it. Just a beautiful, beautiful. And I imagine uh, these came from a storage unit and they were probably packed away. They probably belonged to someone's grandmother, I would say. And then, let's see if this one, yep, 
somebody had some really tiny handiwork. There's this one. Look how tiny those stitches are. I mean, those are little. Now, I do have <clears throat> hopes and aspirations. I have a pattern that has, uh, it's crocheted and it's the Last Supper and it's about yay long and you go across. I might tackle that one day because that would be something that you would want to frame for sure. Now, this one is also hand done. I feel the starch in it. I can feel that it's been starched. A lot of times back in the day, people would mix their own you know, they couldn't just run to the store and get commercial starch. They had to make their own, and they did it with sometimes glue. They would use glue and mix it in with some water, and then sometimes they would use starch. Of course, they had a lot of starch on hand because they did a lot of ironing. Aren't we glad we don't live back in the day where the bed sheets had to be ironed? Lord have mercy, I'd be in trouble. So that is that one, and I know she added more to it. Big, humongous lot of doilies, so I'll have to get my uh, some beautiful pieces. I'm just really, really blown away by the craftsmanship in a lot of these. Next up. Okay, I know a lot of you will notice this. Everybody knows about Coca-Cola. She also put some letters in there, some little stick-on letters right there. And this says, Flowing Wells. I don't even know what that is. But it's laser cut. I'm not for sure what that represents. But there's that. And here's something called Stickopotamus. And I guess it's a soccer type thing. You have your net there. Shoes, soccer balls, etc. And then you have Jolie's Dimensional Embellishments. And we have a school bus right here. And here's the back of it. She gets a lot of new things. I do remember um, this wallet. I'm a lover of pink, as you all know. And it's a small one. You have for your license there and different cards. Um, it is made by something M M E T. I don't know. I can't tell. But anyway, I'm gonna get a, a magnifier here. But I'll show. Isn't this neat? Now, what would a collector do to get a hold of something like that? Quite a bit. You can tell that has some age to it. Um. Somewhere it costs $5.99, but you don't see them like this, this anymore. They're, it's metal. And how awesome is that? You know, you do have some people that collect uh, Coca-Cola memorabilia. Let me grab my... Uh, let's see. Let me stick that back down in there. I'm not like I'm laughing about these here. I'm I'm I looked over and saw those and I'm like, <laughs> how cool are those? Good Halloween. What does that say? Metal. M U L I Z H H. I've never heard of it, but it's in real good condition. There's the inside of it. And uh, I like pink and I like variety. <laughs> then you have an opening on the back of it. Is No, that's where it connects. But that's kind of a fuchsia color. Little handle on it. And there's that. So. Okay, that's empty. I 
purchased, Lord have mercy, I purchased some stamps, and I sold some stamps. Why did I buy more? Well, I seen something I liked. You've got this nice container. You know, as ladies, all right, is it taped? It's taped. As ladies, we sometimes let things go, and then we end up buying some more. Or at least that's the way I do. I don't want to cut anything. Let's crack this open and see what we've got. We have stamps. We have this little lady here. Kind of a scarecrow looking. Never been used. And it's by Rocky Mountain Rubber Stamps. 1995. Never been used. I'm going to have to get me some... Uh, stamping materials <clears throat> like the whatever the ink and then here's one that's a frame right there whoever had these didn't they didn't use them in it this one says friends like quilts give comfort when needed and that's so true there's that one and we just have a lot of smaller ones here's like a grass one um this is the same thing as the other one I had, so I have two of them. Then here's one with patchwork hearts on it. Here's one that says, Happy Birthday. I'll be using that. I've got cardstock. <laughs> then we have this one right here, the little birdhouse on a stand. Then we have this patchwork looking flower. All these have never touched an ink pad. Then we have, hmm, this is just a little piece of wood. Then we have one that has 1995 Stampin'. I've had these before. Stampin' Up, you have your little carrot, like you would probably use for uh, Easter or whatever. Then, I believe these are balloons. Good for birthday cards. When this you see, remember me. That's kind of neat. And then we have this one here. And this is the Easter Bunny, 1995. Stampin' Up. There's your little Easter Bunny with his big feet. Very nice container, ladies. And gentlemen, if you're watching, and we'll put those in there and we'll move on to the next. You know, plastic containers are expensive. That's why every time I see one, and this one's in excellent shape, I buy it at a consignment because they're so handy. I'm the, the lady that buys all the boxes. So. Next up, we have some more stamps in a very nice box. And she taped it together so it wouldn't come apart in transit. Today, in today's society, you never know what your mails, you know, the way they toss stuff around. But we'll take the tape off of it. We'll open the box and it will reveal all these. So... First up, it says, it says, God bless you on this one. Never been used. It retailed for $6 way back in the day. And then you have this stamp here that says, thank you. Very nice. Then you have, it's your day stamp right there. Then you have some little flowers right there. This looks like leaves and holly to me. There's that. And then you have thank you and a very pretty script right there. Then you have especially for you, which is nice. And then you have, um, it says just for you. You've got that. And this one says, for a special friend. 
I mean, I've got all the makings of some big time cards. You know what I bet this was? I've seen this done at baby showers before. They put that on there. And then it's got a little blue diaper thing on the back. So whoever made this, somebody was expect, whoops, expecting a boy. But I've been to baby showers where they have uh, little party favors folded up like a diaper. And who's ever has the squirt of mustard in it wins the prize at the end, you know. <laughs> and see, nobody knows that until the end. And then they say, whoever's diaper's got the yellow mustard in it. <laughs> You're the winner. Okay. Oh my, just when you thought we didn't have enough stamps, we're going to add more to it because that's what I do, I guess. <laughs> so, how gorgeous is that? I mean, I've got a stamp in there big as a... Carol, welcome in. We're in the middle of stamp showing. But that's a pretty one right there. I'm gonna. I've got everything I need to get started. It's just getting the umph to do it. <laughs> and uh, here's one right here that has wine bottles on it. Yeah, pretty. I don't think it's ever been used. There's that. Let's see what this costs. If it's marked. No, it's not marked. But I bet you. What well, they didn't give it away. I bet you that. But that is so pretty. You guys are out there thinking she better best be making some cards or we're going to send her a nasty email. No, I'm kidding. Then we have something called Stick Abilities. This is sports uh, uh, inspired. It's not, it's not just a game. It's a way of life. In the game, football, too, too much football. No such thing as too much football. And there's that. Then we have this, it looks like uh, things that has to do with college that you could probably make a card and put these on there. It would be neat. Say so you got no excuse not to be making something. Now these are graduations from 208. They're little uh, lobster claw things right there. Graduation. And we have another. This is like a stained glass window. And there again, this hasn't been used neither. There's the back of it. Really good shape. Next up, we have this little... It's an angel. It's a patchwork angel. There that is. Are you a scrapbooker? I need to turn into something... Because I've got all this stuff and I need to start, I think, junk journals and possibly trying my hand at cards and stuff like that. Because i got enough stuff to, there's no excuse. Here's a biblical one. Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all in thine heart and lean not into thine own understandings. And always acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. That would be cute to make a card with. Then we have this one. We have a little, it's the cutest little girl holding flowers. I know, Gigi. Hey, Myra, I better get cracking. But, you know, we all have good intentions. I just got to put the intentions into actions, right? This one says, in the vast ocean of God's love, we are but a grain of sand, and yet, like every seashell, beautifully made by his hand. How beautiful is that? I like that writing, how that writing is on there. It's very pretty. And we have the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 25. Very pretty. And we have this one. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. 
Psalms 61, verse 2. Isn't that pretty? Did your husband find out about the packages? No, Myra. I was slick about it. When he was in one room, I took it in another, and then I covered it up with a with a blanket, and he didn't know. Of course, it was off to the side, and he if he would have tripped over it, he would have probably known about it. But no, this was the box, and man, is it heavy. <laughs> I didn't say I wasn't a little bit sneaky. <laughs> and this one says, congratulations. You know, it's amazing how creative women can get when they're trying to get a package in the house unseen. And this one is the name, Diana. <laughs> See, I know the distance between how long it would take him to get from point A to point B. And then I calculate that. And then I go in and do it. <laughs> Myra's like that woman. And then here's some seashells. This one says, love you, in a very nice script. This one says, missing you. Very pretty. <laughs> and this one is a, a ball and glove right there. And this one is a little patchwork star from 1995. There's a lot of themed things in here that would go together, like the patchwork. You still have an ink pad? No, I don't. Here I've got all this stuff and I don't have an ink pad. I better get cracking, huh? This is a possum of all things, I think. You never know, I might walk into my favorite consignment shop and there in all its glory may be ink. We just never know. But Or I could go to Hobby Lobby, right? Okay, but there's a lot of... I sold a bunch that I bought myself. And here I go again. You know that song, Here I Go Again? And we have another large um, little gallon bag. I would say that these are memo pads and stuff like that. You can never have enough of these. And these are brand new. And... Here's something, the sloth to do, to do soon, eventual appointments, to do after a nap, to errands to run and people to contact in due time. I've, I've had problems getting everything I need to do a project. What project are you doing, Myra? Yeah, there's nothing worse than having to want to do something and you can't find what you're looking for. There's that. That was cute, wasn't it? And we have more stickers. I love good stickers. And this says things to do today. It should have on the bottom and don't leave it blank. <laughs> this is not a trick quite this is not a trick statement. You have to fill it in getting yeah. Then we all oh, these is what you stick on your calendar, I guess. Don't forget this and don't forget that, and right there, there's that. Lots of stickers. I'll have to categorize everything to get it. But boy, I tell you, Marion brings the stuff now, no joke. I started a little bit early today. I um, was getting ready to set that this live up, and I seen it's me, Angie, on, so I had to stop in and see her. And next up, we have, I think it's that basket making. See, I got so many projects. Any project, there is always something missing. I know. Don't that just make, keeps you awake at night sometimes? So, the, ba the basket book, over 30 magnificent baskets to enjoy. 
Isn't that neat? I've never made a basket before, but I believe it'd be fun. And this book, let's see where the copyright, where it's copyrighted from. Sometimes it's on the back. Sometimes take the cover. This is nice. Hmm. Let me go and look on this other part. See if it's got a... Nope. But it's got some real, it tells you basket weave variations and it's just real it's like a how-to guide to do your own baskets how to make your just think back in the day you know people made their own baskets because they really couldn't afford to buy them so that's what they did there's some here And then a long come lo long a burger. I forget when they came out, but and there's there's that. A lot of times people love a good basket, but they just don't want to. You know, it's time consuming, and they just. I think a, the reason a lot of people don't try it because they're afraid they'll fail at doing it. All right, down in the box we go. All right, let's see what this says. Dazzling, oh, I know what this is. Dazzling shoe ring holder. I know what this is. I remember, and I remember this very well. And there's supposed to be some rings also in the bag. It came with rings, but I'll show you. We'll take a peek at those. But, whoops, this is definitely up right up my alley. They get me every time, don't they? And there's rings down in the... I love a ring, let me tell you. And there's rings in it. I don't believe I ever wore a heel that high. As a matter of fact, I know I didn't, but... Uh, you know, I remember back in the day when people wore those, they were real pointed and they were high heels and they put their backs and probably went out. I think this is a faux, this is a faux um, opal, I'm pretty sure of it. Let's get the size on it though. It's a bigger ring. We're looking at about a size, it's over a nine and a half, but you can tell it's faux by looking at it. You know, you can see the colors, but it's only produced to mimic an opal. And there's, usually the bigger rings sell a lot better. Here's a teeny tiny one. It looks like stainless steel. Stop. Boy, if that fell on my foot, wouldn't I be yelping about now? This one is a teeny tiny little band. Really small. Let's get a measurement on that. Ooh, it is small. It's four and a half. That would make it... I don't know if that's one of those mood ones or not, but it would make a nice little pinky ring anyway. It's in good shape. Let me slide that on. Then we have this little wraparound one here. It's not... It looks like kind of seeing better days, but there's that. Then we have another tiny little ring, and I don't know if something's missing or not. Is it marked? I don't know if that's stuck. There's something missing from it. I'm going to take a look and see if I see a mark on it. But there's two stones on either side, and uh, there's something missing in the middle. I'm not for sure what it is yet, but there was something there a while ago, I'm sure. Oh, this one's kind of pretty. And it is, let me see if it's marked. Nope. Let's see what the size range is on this one. This one is just, this is well over nine and a half. Um, kind of pretty though. Gold tone right there. Sometimes if you get even a good costume ring, if you get one, if it's uh, stainless steel or sometimes the, 
the uh, metals in uh, the, our body composition will cause things to turn really fast. I think it depends upon how much, uh, you know, al alkalinity, so to speak, that's in your body. So we're all different. That's why perfumes smell different on each and every one of us. All I could say is I would hate to walk a mile in those shoes, but they're cute as a button. <laughs> we person have back prop problems for forever. I think that's why, you know, a lot of things give out. And, hmm. Here's a little stretch ring here. Like that. Now, here's a little trick on these rings. If you take that ring and put it, turn it like that to the side, push it, and then twist it, your band will match much longer. So I'll show it to you again. Put it on like that. Push it. Twist it. And your little, your band will match match will last much longer you do like a quarter turn and put it in a different position and they'll stay nice for you for a while huh what's this one i don't see any markings on it it's got that looks like latin to me but i'm not for sure it isn't adjustable i'll put show you I don't know which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way. Hey, Papa Jim's and Dan. Welcome in, sweetie. I got real excited on that one. But there's that one. I'm not for sure if that is Latin or what that is. It's so good to see you guys. I recognize you guys from Sheena's chat. Dan has does a lot with fish tanks. And... Uh, He's easy on the eyes, might might I add. And he goes, oh, no, I can't believe she said that. Hi. Yes, he does fish tanks. Very sweet person. But there that is right there. And thank you guys for coming in and make sure you hit the thumbs up, please. Thank you. All righty, then. We have this faux howlite. And I know it's faux, but it is kind of cute. There's that. It does have a stretch on it. And if you keep that simple rule in mind that I showed you about your stretch rings, quarter of a turn off like that. That way it won't stretch so badly on you. This one is like a copper tone. It appears to have all the stones. Kind of reminds me of Aaliyah Sophia, but it's not. But look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? The copper toned. We'll see how big that is. coming in at about a nine it's very pretty and it's got all the stones and look how tiny those are whoops <laughs> very very small but it still has bling to it you, that's your thing there here's another one let me see check for marking and do a measurement on this one let me see. This one's coming in at about a seven. It's a thicker band. There are no markings on it. This is what it looks like on the front. Rather thick band. Whenever you have a thick band like that, more than likely if you wear a six, you can wear that. And that's what I wear is a six. It's in good shape. There's no wear on it. It's just a little little costume ring but you know what i have a lot of uh rings and then there's these little beads in here i don't know what these are but they're pretty i don't know if i could hold them up or not right there kind of like that but you know what i have some rings that aren't real diamonds and if a Something that's cut appropriately. Some people can't tell the difference between a diamond and a zirconia. Not a zircon, a zirconia. But I've had some rings on that people's chin dropped down to here and they weren't real. So <laughs> that helps to keep you from getting knocked in. The, if you get knocked in the head, you won't be missing much because it's not real. 
But anyway, it is sometimes it is hard to distinguish those, um, the real from the not real. But if you have a good eye, even some of your costume pieces with like glass, the dispersion off of that looks like a diamond. I have a moissanite ring that's about two carats and I paid $700 for that ring and it's guaranteed for life that the stone cracks or chips they'll replace it and I paid 700 bucks for that and it's huge and you ought to see people eyeball that while I'm out they think that's a diamond but moissanite on the Mohs on the M-O-H-L-S uh, uh, diamond scale is as strong if not stronger than a diamond and it has more dispersion than a diamond it's virtually prettier than a diamond here's what i say it's what every diamond wants to be when it gets up in the morning that's what i always say so she got a saying for everything <laughs> all right we're getting down to the nitty gritty here y'all one last box We know it ain't what. All right, how you open this bad boy? So we will do the slicing. But no, I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've did a lot of videos here lately. Hi, Maury. Welcome in. I have did a lot of videos. I guess I woke up. You know, you can't, your channel cannot grow if you're stagnant. If you're, in, it, I don't know who that is. It don't matter. Excuse me. Bye. I hate to get interrupted. But what I was talking about, you cannot um, be successful at YouTube and remain stagnant. You have to put out content that people want to see you have to, they have to know that you're interested in what you're doing and that's what they're looking for that's why i'm tearing it up but sheena she's a good coach and i thought well i want to do this i want to do that and i actually did it you know i'm thinking you're not going to grow until you step out there and you just got to do it like nike just do it right <laughs> But anyway, you're like, she gets on a soapbox quite a bit. <laughs> but no, for real, you have to uh, put yourself out there if you want to grow. You know, the biggest, th like I always said, the biggest thing that stops you is fear. Fear is a very psychological thing. And it can keep you from doing things that you know you're capable of doing, but you can't let that fear get you because if it gets in your head, you're in trouble. But I think a lot of times when people first get started in YouTube, they're so, they're like, here's what I was. I was afraid that I was going to make a mistake, which I don't know why, because we all make mistakes. It's, you know, it's a given, you know, we're human. Perfection is on the other side, and I better be careful because there's something... This is a Japan. It's from Japan. It's got a lid and I got to find it. Let's just hope I don't. But no, you have to. Sometimes you, I found it. Sometimes you just have to put yourself out there and people really want to know who you are and they want you to show them who you are. And with me in my mouth, there's no mistaking because I'll tell in a minute. But anyway, this there are some condition issues on this, but nothing that you would really see because it is on top of this little, you know, you're not going to see that. But here's the bottom of it that marked in Japan right there. Yes, Maury, you need to start up. You need to get say hey you know i want to do this and it's worth doing and just jump in there and run with the best of them i mean there's different things that but yeah if you want something to grow you have to nurture it so you you know same thing with youtube you've got to get in there and roll with the punches you might get knocked down but you get right back up i'm kind of stubborn like that but uh 
Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to have be on with Laura Designs Laura on not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And they'll tell them what you're going to see. So it comes on at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Because I got to wade through this room. The rooms upstairs are smaller than downstairs, but uh, I've taken over quite a few of them, all of them but one. But uh, yes, Maury, just take that leap of faith and say, hey, you know, if you want something, you got to go after it. And you might be afraid. And my thing was being afraid of not to, not knowing the mechanics of YouTube and looking silly and foolish, but hey, you have to learn somewhere. Yes, I do have it already in a box. Already. Yep, you're going to have a big one. Because her box is like, it's a, um, it's already wrapped nicely. Her box is from Germany. It's about that yay big. About like that, about that tall. So you got to really accommodate that but i think you'll enjoy that i think there's a lot of history in that uh box right there and it survived all those years and just in wonderful shape but um i've been yakking i need a drink of water but i always enjoy seeing all the familiar faces in there and i love seeing the new faces Yes. Yeah, it is huge. It's got a lot of stuff on it. There's also something when you flip up that box, there's something that's on that part of it too stuck to it that's pretty good sized. Yeah. I'm the I'm the box lady. I love a good box or you know, but uh yeah, and, you know, with Easter coming and everything, I'm sure there will be some auctions, but uh, I watched uh, Designs Laura Laura's video today, and she had did all this work for somebody, and it took her two hours, and then they turned around and didn't respond, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we put so much so much into a box for one of our uh people that we sell to and then they turn around and do i felt so bad for her but you know it's going to happen it's going to happen and she was very um uh, what's that word i'm looking for very uh my mind just went blank she you know she she told about it and she didn't say who it was, but I felt so bad for her because, you know, and this was a specialty made item. And I tell you, you know, she puts 100% of herself into every piece and that would have just killed me. I would have thought, oh my God, here I've turned around and tried to do something for somebody. But y'all know how that goes. It takes all kinds but um, I felt really bad for her, but I put her something in there to cheer her up. And she was very, um, God, I can't think of that word. She was very diplomatic about it. I couldn't have come on. I couldn't have did that because I would have lost it thinking about that. She was very diplomatic about it. Bless her heart. I think a lot of her, she's very sweet, and she, um, I hate to see people done that way, but hey, we're in this world with different kinds of people, and you just never know. We just have to keep the ones that, you know, like they say, keep your friends closer and your enemies closer, too, because you never know. But thank you so much, everyone, for coming in. I really appreciate your company, and that's why I do this, because... I like to share things with my subscribers. It's something that I feel that's a very personal thing to myself and my subscribers when I come on. And I like, you know, I like the audience. I like the input. And it's just wonderful. That's just what I do. I can't do a recording. Who would I be? To, I couldn't yak all the time. But it was wonderful to see everyone. Um Thank you so much, the familiar faces and the ones coming in 
that have never been here before, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this live. I love you guys very much. God bless you all. See you next time. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Gigi. You're so welcome, honey. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.